Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm with Robbins Plumbing. And today our tip for you is how to keep your Halloween happy. It is inevitable that every year, for the last 22 years I've been doing this, that we save homeowners from a stopped up kitchen sink from carving their jack-o'-lanterns. And that should be a fun experience with your kids and the mess and the slimy fingers. The last thing that you want to have to do is call a plumber after you've done all of that. So it can seem like all that mess, you want to just shove it down your disposal and get rid of it. It isn't how it works usually. So I've got some tips for you. One, pumpkin seeds can be roasted and they're amazing. And I actually linked three of my favorite recipes for that. So you can clean those pumpkin seeds, roast the pumpkin seeds, but your drain line for your kitchen sink isn't often able to handle fibrous material like the insides of squash, celery, also fibrous and stringy. So your disposal can often handle it, but your plumbing afterward can really struggle with it. Disposals aren't created equal. Between the horsepower and how many grinding settings it has, that kind of thing. So it's always my advice to err on the side of caution so you don't have to call the plumber. So as far as the insides of a pumpkin, it's very stringy and that can be hard for a disposal to break up. And those seeds are also very fibrous and can be hard for a disposal to break up. And then your drain line after that disposal, it's only an inch and a half brand new. But I promise you it has buildup of, you know, grease and sludge and food particles. So it's even more narrow than that. So it's even more narrow than if you're looking down the tube that your paper towel is wrapped around. And then you're asking a lot of stuff to go down there that's a fibrous material. So we always err on the side of caution that it's better to you know, clean those seeds and roast them. Another great option for them is to compost them. So if you're into gardening or you have a neighbor that's into gardening, they can take those seeds, all the pulp that's inside, and even the jack-o'-lantern when you're done with it, and they can make it dirt again. We could just think that's the coolest thing. But if you're a rebel, and I know there are some of you out there, and you really do wanna put that whole mess down your disposal because you just are done with it, and it does feel icky. And like my husband says, there's small seeds, it's not worth the time and investment. God bless him that you can chance it, but I do have some words of caution. So one, you really wanna follow disposal protocol. So first, make sure your faucet is running on cold and it's going down your disposal. Two, make sure your disposal is on first. Don't start cramming stuff in there while it's off. It is so much more powerful and the procedure for it to run correctly is that your disposal is on before you're putting products down it, you know, food waste and that kind of thing. The other thing is don't just shove that whole pumpkin down there at once. It can be tempting, right? Your sink's full of ick, you've been at it all night, your kids are playing with knives, there's not enough wine in the world for that, right? but really be cautious of how much you're putting down there at a time, a half a cup at a time at most, and keep that water running, keep the disposal on the whole time, and safely put it in small increments down your disposal. Then the other big tip, don't just turn off the water and the disposal when you hear it's done, because it's not done. That compartment at the top of your disposal, it is trying to process a lot of sticky, fibrous, stringy material, and it's trying to process it down to a liquid point enough that it can get through your drain line. So you wanna leave it running a good solid 10 seconds after you hear nothing, like it's just quiet and humming. And then above and beyond that, you wanna leave that cold water on even another 10, 15 seconds after that. So everything's being washed through. You wanna make sure that the compartment of your disposal is being washed, all that water spinning around in there, and that it is forcing that water through that drain line, 
trying to clean that out at the same time. So my bonus tip, if you're gonna use your disposal to get rid of all the pumpkin guts, when you're all done getting it processed through is to run a tray of ice behind it. So what the ice does is it super cools everything so it hardens. So instead of having soft components in the disposal that's mush, you have hard components that are easier to break free. And that's actually how you clean your disposal when it's got that smell, is running ice behind it. So drop a tray of ice in there, let that all process through, and then hopefully you're good to go. If you were brave and it backed up, then of course you can give us a call. We'll come out and save you. And you can call us at 623-486-4657, or of course you can reach us conveniently on our website at robinsplumbing.com.